you have some similarities with Jordan Peterson on this issue. And I know that you haven't talked much about Jordan Peterson. And I wanted to know if you had any disagreements with what he says. Frankly, I pay very little attention. But uh, if you want to know about Jordan Peterson, I think the best thing I can refer you to is an article by uh, Nathan Robinson, very sharp, acute critic in his journal, Current Affairs. It's called something like uh, The Intellectual We Deserve or something like that. I think that that's basically my answer. Other than that, I don't pay any attention. I mean, there's some issues on which I probably agree with Hitler. No, it doesn't mean much. Some people have suggested that they should, that we should remove universities. That, and this is Remin Jordan Peterson, for example, said, suggest to students, don't go to universities anymore because of the bias, because of the unitary point of views. And this is reminiscent of anarchist Ivan Illich's desire to eliminate. Listen to what Jordan Peterson is saying. He's saying universities are dominated by the left. Now, for him, the left is anybody to the left of Attila the Hun. In fact, universities are dominated by the right. He's so far on the right that that looks like the left to him. But does it make sense to tell students not to go to universities? It's crazy. It's one of the places where you can, uh, there's lots of things wrong, but there are resources and opportunities that simply don't exist anywhere else. Uh, the, you can't, um, there are opportunities to become a free, independent, creative individual working with others uh, that you just don't have elsewhere. Uh, Sorry, I miss. Sorry, I misspoke. I didn't mean that to suggest that he suggested to eliminate the universities. I'm, I'm more trying to convey the decentralizing of universities. So, for example, an online school. There's a lot you miss in an online school. Your peers. One of the big parts of education is the students you're with. That those kinds of interactions are gone online. And they're very important for uh, educating oneself. Uh, anybody who's been in a through a school or university situation knows how you can learn more from interaction with your peers than uh, from sitting in on a lecture. Uh, even interaction with the faculty. So it's one thing to sit in a lecture class or watch a television screen, and it's another thing to be in an actual class where you're interacting with other students and with the faculty. So yes, there are good things. I mean, I think it's good to try to extend uh, the resources of a university elsewhere, but there's nothing to replace the direct face-to-face uh, -face interaction. Not just when you're in class, but when you're, walk when you're doing something else, when you're uh, sitting in a McDonald's and having a hamburger with your friends and talking.